It's day four of our big road trip adventure to California. We're in Flagstaff, Arizona. Let's see where Bob's going to take us. Hi, welcome to My Goat Shed Life. I'm Lynn, and I live in what used to be an old abandoned goat shed, which just goes to show you that life is filled with some pretty limitless possibilities. I'd like to encourage you, if you're so inclined, to subscribe to my channel and hit that little bell dingling so you'll get notifications of future videos. I also encourage you to stay to the end because, well, you want to know? Stick with me. Started out with this guy looming in the distance. I believe it to be Humphreys Peak, the tallest point in Arizona. And we headed off to find the Navajo Nation in the Painted Desert. Not too far down the road, we found the turnoff for the National Monument. So we decided we would go and explore some of the volcanic landscape. As you can hear, the wind was absolutely brutal. And even though it was a short walk, it kind of was a tough one. But the National Park Service really has done a great job of making this rough terrain accessible to just about anybody. Oops. The forces of nature really are a sight to behold. I just love this old tree. It was bent and weathered, and yet there it was, growing. I contemplated taking for myself a little tiny piece of lava. What could it hurt, right? But if everybody did that, there wouldn't be anything left. This map points out the three volcanoes in the distance. And here are the San Francisco peaks. And pictured here is Eldon Mountain. Something that we really need to be conscious of is that we're in higher elevations than what we're accustomed to. And also it's very dry here. It's really windy today. It's really dry here, so it's important to stay hydrated. Elevation sickness is a real thing. We're headed north up 89, coming out of Flagstaff. I think the next town up is Cameron, going up through the Navajo Nation in search of the Painted Desert. And there it is. That's the Painted Desert. Bob kept insisting that was not the Painted Desert that he thought it was, but this is the only one that I could find on the map. I thought it was pretty and worth the trip to see it. I found this little flower that I thought was just adorable. This is the scraggly old bush it came off of. Wow. The next stop was at a Pueblo and some Indian ruins that we decided we'd stop and look at. This was a place called the Citadel, and there was something of a hike involved. And of course, it was uphill. It was super windy, but fortunately the wind was blowing us back toward the hill instead of off of it. Did I mention I'm afraid of heights? I was really impressed with that canyon over there. Ah, finally, we made it to the top. Yay! And this was the view from the top. And there I am, great conqueror of wind, heights, and ruins. And this is what the thing looked like from the bottom. Yep, we climbed up that. Our next stop was here at this canyon formed by the Little Colorado River. Wow. I'm thinking this has absolutely got to be the beginning of the Grand Canyon, right? This place was absolutely awesome. There's a little bit of water down there that is the Little Colorado, I believe. Back on the road on Highway 64. I'm awestruck. What can I say? And a little excited. We made it! We made it! We made it to the Grand Canyon!